Hello again, everyone. Michael here with Felicity. November 8033 Foxtrot, a Cessna flight training device that I built here at home. Um, Bless Jet. Hello, buddy. Welcome. We had some fun yesterday with the Bush League, um, getting lost in Canada, um, doing some uh, some bush flying. But we're gonna shift focus back to some some training. So we are back here in the, the Boston Arctic ARTCC and gonna go for wings over New England IFR two and IFR-3. Um, IFR-3 is time dependent. Definitely the IFR-2 uh, fundamentals is basically going to be a, uh, uh, a standard instrument departure and we're going to be shooting an ILS approach um, and VOR navigation. So that's what we're going to kind of focus on. Uh, we're kind of revisit from previous focusing area previous focus areas so we'll we'll practice this uh it'll, they'll probably have us on the logan departure um we'll see but let's go ahead and look at our route let's see let's see if we have a tec route it says they're pretty close so let's see if we've got a tec route available for this um we omit the k when we look up our tec route so we're just going to go boston to Providence is uh, uh, Papa Victor Delta. Um, let's just see what we have there. Looks like there is a TEC route. Uh, so just PVD Providence. That should be easy enough to file. Let's see what else we have here. I wanted to go from Boston to Providence. See what type of routes we have available here. All right, so we see that same TEC route. Um, Jet. I'm gonna be pissed in, so yeah, Providence. It's gonna be our route there. Well, let's go ahead and pack for this trip. Hope everyone's had a uh, good Tuesday. I did go ahead and check to make sure that we do have overlying ATC coverage on VATSIM uh, for our ratings, so or, um, so we should be go there. I know we tried a few days ago, and uh, we didn't have coverage by the time we got there, but we should be good. All right, let's uh can't really jot much down in the way of frequencies or anything simply because I never know on VATSIM if it's going to correspond with the published frequency. So I won't write down any frequencies. We're not going to know our departure airport or departure runway until we grab ATIS. So, um, Hawker, welcome buddy. Hello. Um, just uh, discussing our pre-flight for Wings IFR2 from uh, the Wings Over New England program from Boston Virtual ARTCC. So welcome, happy to have you. Um, so yeah, I think we'll uh, I think we'll head on to the aircraft. It's uh, we've kind of got a plan. We'll know more once we get there and get some updated information. Uh, we'll check our weight and balance and all that good, um, all that good pre-flighty type stuff. So I will catch you over there. Um, just a moment in the aircraft. Dreamnet, hello. Uh, we're just getting ready to walk to the aircraft. Um, uh, we're over here in Boston Virtual Arctic and we're going to try for our IFR2. So welcome and we'll see you in the plane.
Hello. See so you found the aircraft. <coughs> Sorry that we got a little wet on the walk out here. It's kind of a bit raining currently. Alright, so if you just joined us, welcome aboard Felicity. <laughs> November 8033 Foxtrot. We are on the ground at Boston. Uh, gonna grab IFR to Providence. Work on the wings. 2 rating, which is essentially um, Boston to Providence via the TEC route. Um, so, should be pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and grab it to ta Hobbs time, 1147.7. .7. And attack time of 2, 1.8. Does that match my out? Yep, that matches my out from last night. I certainly hope nobody was flying my plane. Okay. Um, weight and balance. Let's talk and go over that real quick. Mm, okay. You and I on board. Um, no passengers in the rear. We do have some, uh, some baggage, our flight bags. Let's go ahead and fill up both wings. Gives us about a seven hour flight time. Takeoff weight of 2,746 out of a gross of 3,100. Okay, we're in the uh, Katmai 182. Peterson. Yeah, it's really neat to be able to see kind of the water and the puddles on the um, on the tarmac here. Um. All right, let's get started up. Let's grab my checklist. Pre-flight and walk arounds already been done. Passenger brief. Um. Looks like we might actually be in some IFR conditions, so go ahead and main, uh, retain your seat belt while we're in flight. Uh, we got our Hobbs intact time, all our circuit breakers are in, and our alternate static is in. Uh, let's move to our start checklist, seat track, let's get scooted up here and make sure we can reach flight controls. Alright, rudder pedals, brakes. Alright. All that feels good. Uh, avionics are off. Our autopilot is off. Yep, autopilot's off. Um, throttles quarter. Let's see. And brakes. Brakes are on. Clear prop. Looks clear on the left and clear. I got a baggage car all the way down there um, on the right, mm. but we are clear up front. Let's go ahead and get that master switch on. And my beacon on. And mixture is gonna go to rich. And max to start. Clear. Alright, we do have engine rotation. Oil pressure's in the green. I'm gonna hang out for our uh, oil uh, temperature to come up a bit. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and turn our landing light on for safety. Get our avionics on. And let's connect it to VATSIM. Alright, call sign's correct, type code is correct.
Alright. Let's go ahead and jot down our frequencies. Boston 8 is 135.0. Ground. Looks like there's only one ground. One two one point nine er. Boston Tower. One two eight point eight. And now approach is one three three point zero. The rest will probably be given to us, but let's go ahead and jot it down. Center 134.7. Let's see if I can grab ATIS on COM2. For some reason, I can't always grab it on COM2, and I have to go to COM1. 135.0. Make that active. 2.12. Altimeter 3006. How about that? It's working. ILS runway 4 right approach in use. Departing runway 9 -er. Runway 33 right is approved for turn off center landing. All aircraft three may call hold short instructions and decide altitudes. Numerous construction cranes in the Boston area and in the vicinity of Logan Airport. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Tango. Tango is current at Boston. Boston Logan Airport, it is information tango. 2254 Zulu. Web 050 and 14. Visibility 2. Light rain. Mist. Few clouds at 600. Ceiling 900 overcast. Temperature 13. 2.12. Altimeter 3006. ILS runway 4 right approach in use. Departing runway 9 -er. Runway 33 right is approved for turn off center landing. All aircraft brief may call hold short instructions and decide altitudes. Numerous construction cranes in the Boston area and in the vicinity of Logan Airport. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Tango. Tango. And it's going to be runway 9 -er. Looks like it's going to be our departing runway. Heading indicated a compass, let's go ahead and set that real quick. Looks like we're about 328. Three, three, not three, four, zero-ish. And our terminal we grabbed was three, zero, zero, six. at Mount Shore Field Elevation here in Boston. Yep, sure it is. Alright, um, so we're, let's go ahead and file our flight plan now. Um, our route was going to be 4,000 feet. November 8033 Foxtrot IFR Type 182 Lightweight category Alright, parking brakes on uh, Slant Golf Departure Boston Arrival Providence Altitude 4000 off block time, um, we'll just say 2359. Airspeed, about 120 ish. En route time, 
20 minutes, 30 minutes. We'll just say 25 minutes. And we had seven hours of fuel on board over at Providence. Some remarks in there, wings IFR2, the channel, thank you. Uh, everything else looks good, call signs correct, IFR correct, route is correct, departure arrivals correct. Uh, let's go ahead and file the flight plan. Ground was 121.9er. I'm going to get tower on standby. Boston Ground, November 8033, Foxtrot, request IFR 2, IFR to Providence, ADIS Tango. November 8033, Foxtrot, Boston Ground, IFR request on our west today. Airport via fly runway 8 heading and then radar vectors direct 3000 uh, departure 133.0 squawk 1302 November 33 Fox Run. That's uh, 33 Fox Run. You were blocked for the first part of that. Can you just read back to the, uh, up to the initial altitude? We are cleared to Providence via fly runway 8 heading and then radar vectors direct and then 3000. Uh, so it'll be fly runway heading, expect to depart runway 9 -er. Okay, fly runway heading, expect run to depart runway 9 -er, November 33 Foxtrot. For 33 Foxtrot, read back correct advisor A taxi. And uh, we are ready to taxi November 33 Foxtrot. Right, hold it short of four right. Left side. And uh, 382, uh, cross runway 15 right, and taxi to the gate of the Alpha. Cross runway 15 right, taxi to the gate of the Alpha, and sorry for crossing 15 left, because we forgot to 
General Aviation Ram ready to taxi with clearance. Runway 9 via Bravo Echo Mike Cross from 4 left on Echo 33 Fox Shot. 1914 Cross Runway 15 right on November, Texas the Gate via Alpha. Bravo. Right, cross 15 right, Texas November, Texas the Gate Alpha. Bravo. Echo. 1337 Cross Runway 15 right, State Park. Uh, correction, Cross Runway 15 right on November, State Park. Right cross 4 left on Echo. Okay. okay. Got it. Wait, in on our taxi here. Yeah, I was getting kind of pushed there.
I'm just gonna go ahead and put Providence B O R in here. Jetblue 1218 cross runway 15 left on November, hold short runway 15 right. And then I'm going to put the Providence VOI frequency in NAV 2 once I get down here and look that up. Alright, I'm going to take that wind correction out just um, as we make this turn here. It's going to be frequency for the Providence uh, VOR. Delta 981 with you holding short of 4 left on Fox Road. Delta 981 Boston Ground, cross runway 4 left on Fox Road, path behind the Cessna head, taxi to the gate via Bravo Echo. Cross 4 left on Fox Road, and then Bravo to the gates. Bravo Echo to the gate Delta 981. Bravo Echo to the gate Delta 981. Alright, so I'm going down here to Echo. November, taxi to the gate to Alpha. Crosswind right on November, then Alpha to the gate Jeblue Toy. Rachel Godspeed, hello. From Pittsburgh. So, uh, you're coming from the west, and I'm heading south. That's awesome. What are you flying today? Seven thirty seven eight hundred. Nice. Um <clears throat> I didn't find anything definitely wrong with your uh log file either. Um so as far as why it was crashing on you, original gun speed, um I really have no idea because there were no error messages that showed up in the log. Uh, no conflicts that I was able to see. Alright, here's Echo. Ground, Medivac 552, holding short of runway 4 left. Medivac 552, Boston, ground, cross runway 4 left on runway 15 right. Are you going to signature depart? Medivac 552, taxi to signature via runway 15 right, Lima, Bravo. Alright, so Lima. he. Bravo, after crossing. He cleared me to. Left, he cleared me to cross. Zero four left. I am just gonna look. Approaching runway zero four left. Alright, it looks clear both ways. Tower 3 Foxtrot, monitor Tower 128.8, have a safe flight. Over to Tower 128.8, 33 Foxtrot, thank you for your service, good day. Tell me to monitor Tower. So that's what I'm going to do. Jet Blue 6124, join Remain 33 right and hold short of 4 left. 33 right, hold short of 4 left, Jet Blue 6124. Jet Blue 6124, ground point 9, good night. Ground point 9, 6124. November 8033, Fox Trap, Boston Tower, traffic 5 mile final for the crossing, wind 040 at 15, runway 9 or fly heading 140, quick for takeoff. Runway 9 air, clear for takeoff, fly heading 140, thanks for the traffic, Cessna 33 box shot. Boston Tower, KLM 2131, 4 uh, right, ILS. 
Kilon 2131, Heavy Boston Tower following a near bus 4 mile final. I heading 140, runway 4, right, clear to land. So I'm assuming that's going to trump... Airbus, Kilon 2131. That's going to trump my uh, strobes going on. That's going to trump my, my runway heading from ground. Since tower gave me a different instruction. Grab that center line. Approaching runway zero four. And full power. Here we go. Up, rudder, 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 rudder. Airspeed, climb right. All right, here we go. Fly heading one five zero. We are up. Let's grab that heading. There one four zero. Thank you. November 8033 Fox Trap, 1500, climbing 3000, heading 140. November 8033 Fox Trot. Boston departure, hello, free radar contact. Let's make that heading 180, maintain 3000 for now. Heading 180, maintain 3000. November 8033 Fox Trot. And 2029, appreciate the help tonight. The tower's on 128.8, good idea. 128.9, uh, giant train to three, thank you for one of the Boston approach, hello, let's go 100, uh, J-Fun 2 for 4 right, with the uh, uniform. Let's see, Julia Gulf Oscar 100, Boston approach, hello, it's the uniform, up here, 3006, Iowa, it's really 4 right approach tonight. That's 4 right, let's go 100. Boeing 2708, hold the short, 11 right, make a puncher. Boeing 2708, the wind at Bedford, 040, add 8, runway 1, 1, clear, 4, take off. Take off, 11, 2708. November 33, Foxtrot, climb, maintain 4000. Climb, maintain 4000, November 33, Foxtrot. Climbing up to 4,000 feet on a heading of 180. Oh, we have actually passed 2,000 over 2,000. Oh. My FPS is dropping here. Alright, let's we'll see what we can do here.
going to have to work on that. Uh, okay, uh, okay, yes, I should have. Best forward, November 33, Fox Trot. November 33, three, Fox Trot, let's do this. Turn left heading 140, I'll get you back going toward Providence shortly. Left heading 140, November 33, three, Fox Trot. Uh, departure, Stingray 3, holding short, runway 11, one, ready for takeoff. Good. Hello, welcome. And we got a raid. Thank you, thank you so so much. Welcome, raiders. And, and welcome again, Raiders. Thank you so, so much for the raid, Roscoe. I greatly appreciate it. Welcome aboard, Felicity, everyone. We are on our IFR2 rating, uh, Boston Virtual, ARTCC. Um, IFR2, I should say. Wings IFR2, the Wings Over New England program. Thank you, thank you so, so much, Ross Coon. Again, appreciate it. So, if you are new, this is Felicity, a flight training device that I built right here at home. It's been about a 10 year project. Proceed direct Providence, November 33, Fox Trot. Alright, 
Appreciate it. Thanks for that compliment. I learned a lot from you too, as well. You know, honestly, I learned a lot from many people here on Twitch. It's a very friendly you know, community, especially in the Play Sim community. I do want to thank everyone for coming in and flying this evening. Three, after what seems an eternity, you're going to Boston Center on 134.7. To Boston on 134.7, thank you very much. Right now the navigator has the plane. Uh, we've got an altitude set for 4,000 uh, uh, direct to Providence via GPS. Headset cable to step out and get over to the slave machine. Uh, so, well, granted, I'm going to step out of the cabin. I'm not stepping away from the cockpit. Go 100, fly heading to 10 to 
Sorry for the late check-in, level 4,000 feet. Center November 8033 Fox, we have Aedis Oscar at Providence.
should be live working um, and we're sucked in bumpy. We're just pretty, kind of flying in a bit of a storm here. Good evening, 
Boston Center, November 21, Whiskey Charlie is now with you. Flight level 410, heading 277. Standard one, Whiskey Charlie, Boston Center. Hello, to Center 18, level 390. 390, 21, Whiskey Charlie. And Singapore 70, to confirm is Hotel Tango Oscar. I feel like the phrase with you is kind of redundant. Thank you. If I'm talking to you, you should know that I'm with you. Level 1320, cross Sea Dog at maintain 1 1000, the port on Delta Mirror 3014. It's just my opinion. Sea Dog 1 1000, Delta Mirror 3014. Descend, maintain 2000, November 333, Fox Shot. We don't have auto throttle, so we need to manage our speed on our descent. See anything currently? Oh, there's some ground. Six zero November eight zero three three Fox Shot. And the question is, am I going to hand fly this all the way down to the ground, or am I going to try to use the navigator? Mm -hmm. Sim, hello. Yep, it is just a bit soupy. We're, uh, got a lot of clouds going on here in the Boston area. Good evening, left hand uh, 425 heavy, passing through 12,000 down. Another 425 Boston Center, climb 18, level 390. Hawker, you are correct. Climb 18, climb level 390, left hand 425. The issue is, I haven't used the 430 enough to, to necessarily understand how to program this uh, approach in here. Uh, I went ahead and selected and loaded the approach, so it's in there. It may just be a, just a question of activating it or something.
Another question is knowing if the ceiling is high enough. That is also a good question. So we are low. We are low on the, on the approach. So we're going to hang out here until we start to come down. It's like we're a little right, a little left, I should say, and a little, little low. All right, so we're going to hang out here, 2,000. 
I see ground, I don't see the field, I do see the field. I right, so do have slight virtual on the lights, alright, but we are right of it now.
Yep, we've got this. We've got this one. Looks good, looks good. A little high, a little high, a little high. Fly all the way down. Fly it all the way down there. A little low. Alright, we can just pump through how we looking. Alright, let's go ahead and flare. Unfamiliar with the field, looks like we can get off that tango up here. Alright, looks like we're just going to make this left here on Tango. Let's cross this line and clean up a bit. Boston Center, November 8033, Bronx Run, off of 05 at Providence, holding short on Tango. Yeah, we're headed to the terminal, 33 Fox Shot. 33 Fox Shot, Roger Taxi via Tango, Mike Alpha, cross runway 16, have a good night. Tango, Mike Alpha, cross 16, and thank you. Boston Center, November 33, Fox Shot, how did we do on that uh, Wings 2 flight, IFR 2? Roger, thank you. November 8th, 3 3 Fox Shot. Hey, he told me to cross runway 16. 3476, just Alright, we'll go up there. General aviation ramp, that's fine. Mike, Bravo, cross runway 16. Tons off for 25 requests, 2x and speed. Tons off for 25, leave my airspace, Mountain Center off line change, divisors appear to have been. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going to have enough time to do I have part three. Well, well, maybe. We'll see. We'll see once we get down here. Bravo. Mike. Okay, so we need to cross this runway. Eight zero one Delta Mike cross Calverton at maintain one two thousand two five zero knots. See Canyon Alternative two nine zero. Okay, Calverton at one two thousand two five zero knots. One nine nine zero two nine nine zero. One eight zero one Delta Mike. Under one Papa Sears, advise when you're uh, ready to come into Albany or other intentions. Uh, we are ready for the approach into Albany 791 Papa Sears. 
Challenge 1 Papa Sierra, clear to the Albany Airport, FIFI heading uh, 300, descend to maintain 4000, to expect ILS runway 1 approach. 300, expect 4000, ILS 1 approach, 791 Papa Sierra. For 816, Lima Papa, descend to maintain 1000, DBOSS, altimeter 3006. Roger on 1,006 of the bottom. Alright. Let's find a uh, hangar to go hang out at for a minute. This one looks good over here. Whiskey, uh, two one whiskey, uh, contact Sugar, don't pretend. Hello, buddy. Welcome. Uh, we just landed at Providence, Rhode Island. We uh, went for uh, Wings IFR2 rating on that sim. And we did just pass that, so welcome. Good to see you. Alright, um, let's shut things down here. Lights going off. Make sure to lean. Max off. How rude. You know, if that's how they're gonna be, we're just gonna move out of their way. Clear! Break off. Mixture lean, flaps going up, G5 off. Max off, master to off. Alright, well, um, Wings over New England, IFR2, Boston Virtual, ARTCC, uh, we did pass that today. Um, so while we are on the subject of the Wings IFR series, let's jump back over here to the Boston Virtual's website and just take a quick look at the next Wings flight, um, which is going to be our IFR3 and we'll probably look at doing that on Friday. So we will start back here at Providence. Um, let's see, and then correctly intercepts and navigates along the V167 radial. 
uh, files of appropriate flight plan, and I quickly executes the assigned approach into Martha's Vineyard. And my curiosity, how far is Martha's Vineyard from Providence? to say it, I'm not going to be able to uh, have time to do that one once I do, do once we go over all the pre-plate and everything like that. So let's put that on the plan for Friday. We will knock out Wings IFR2 on the bat sim, and then we'll probably look at um, that afterwards doing the I6 rating on Pilot Edge. So let's, let's kind of, I think I'll make that a plan. Um, couple of administrative things I do want to take care of real quick. A couple new follows came in today um, and I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce them. I would probably be doing you a disservice. So, but thank you for those two new follows. I greatly appreciate it. Russ Kood, thank you so, so much for the raid. Always a pleasure. Um, um, a lot of people came in today and said hello as well. Sugar Tunk Dunkerton showed up at the end there. My moderator WestJet came in at the beginning and always WestJet. Uh, thanks for modding for me. Uh, Ross Coot, appreciate the raid earlier. Hawker125, always a pleasure my friend. Um, but if you're not following Hawker125, go ahead and follow his channel as well. He has got a, uh, in process of building a Hawker simulator out of an actual Hawker fuselage. So if you want to follow his fun and adventures, go ahead and uh, check him out. Um, if I did miss anybody, and perhaps I... I don't think I did, but if I didn't, oh, Dreamnid was here. How could I forget? Um, always, uh, always very informative. Um, definitely uh, has helped me out along the way in some of these uh, learning some of these um, IFR procedures. Original Godspeed was here. Um, hello, my friend. So, if I, again, if I did miss anybody, I do apologize. Sometimes it is difficult for me to keep up on the chat, especially when I'm flying the aircraft, more especially when I'm on an IFR rating like that. Um, downwind sim, always a pleasure. Uh, so, yeah, um, again, if you are new, please feel free to go ahead and follow our channel so you can catch the next one. Um, I, I try to keep everything as, as realistic. Um, you know, I let my, uh, you know, take you with me everywhere I go, hang out in the FBO, fly the aircraft, um, and, uh, it's fun for me, uh, but it's always more fun when it's more than one, and you all make that happen, so it, it is my pleasure to have you all on board. So, that is all the time that we have for this evening. Let's figure out who we can send the love over to, um... Let's see who's flying currently. Who 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 can we send it to? Hmm. <laughs> WestJet buddy, have a great evening. Um, I have almost no choices. I have one choice, but it's always a good choice. Um, so let's let's go say hi to Sim Caesar. Um, he's in uh, doing some uh, details, flying right now in Flight Simulator. Always fun to watch. So we'll send you over there Friday. Um, hope to see some of you for our next I ratings. Until then, you all take care and stay safe, and we will see you later.